Skipper's had a long wait. So the captain about to take strike for the first time. Paul Allott. And uh, a reflex hook. He didn't. Uh, he didn't appear to look at it too much. Well, if that rumour is around about his hooking, they've certainly decided to work on it, but he might make a few runs in the meantime before they get to him. The skipper really being tested. He gets in a good position there. A very fine strike indeed. up for Sri Lanka. <laughs> what a nice way to bring it up. Oh, well, he drilled that straight back like an absolute rocket. Hit it on the up again, rather like the one he hit uh, through extra cover. And I think it hit uh, Jonathan Agnew before he was ready. Uh, he looks to me the sort of fellow who's going to be a blocker and a slasher. He might block three or four and then hit a couple of boundaries. And he's not to be taken lightly because he's already made um, a century in each innings of a test match against India. That's a tremendous shot there. He doesn't get too far behind it, but uh, he really gives it a whack. And there's another one. He's middle this, all right. That's disappeared into the crowd for six. Great shot. And everybody anticipating that would come, and uh, most people knew the challenge would be would be taken. And he gave this a fearful crack. He's certainly a strong little man, his men, this, because that was above his head. And he did well, really, to middle that, but that really threw away into the stand. There he goes again. That could be six more. Indeed, it is. <laughs> Both of them having a few words to say now. He's already got two men out on that leg side boundary. Shovel that one away, and that's cleared the field of two for six more. Well, both of them having hard words there with David Gower. I think David Gower, in fact, should be having hard words with both of them. I don't really understand uh, what he's complaining about the whole time. Uh, kind of a man in the crowd to catch him. 49 on the board for the captain. He faces Ellison. It's good backing up by uh, Otimoni. So the single there to Dilip and this brings him a most attractive 50. Been uh, a real joy to watch. Great stroke. Mendes is very severe on anything that's short. For that matter, he's very severe on anything that's well up as well.
and that is a very, very good hit. Not even certain it was over pitched. Mendes cottoned onto it, smashed it away through mid off. Indeed, it wasn't. It was, uh, if anything, just short of a good length. He hit it on the up. Single to Pocock. Down that third man. Both them back in the attack, tremendous. Mendes now on 94. Short, hammered away through mid wicket. So Mendes goes on to 98. <laughs> 98 to Mendes, both on the bowler. Crossed away, be looking for two here. The one through quickly, and there it is. What a fine hundred this has been. Dilip Mendes bat appraised, and what a moment for him. 100 out of 434 for four. Some magnificent shots have included three big sixes all off both and, and ten fours. And the light shines brightly in the gloom here at Lord's. This is now their highest score in Test match cricket. 456 for five. Beats the previous best, all out 454 against Pakistan. That was in uh, Faisalabad. This Pocock. Foul up. Oh, and Pocock deserved that. Fowler has fielded very well, and Pocock has bowled extremely well. Fine innings from Judith Mendes. Caught Pocock, uh, caught uh, Fowler, ball Pocock. And it's Pocock's second. And I think when he hit it, he knew he was going to be out. Beautifully caught, though. 